Hello and welcome to the eighth and the final episode of Docker series on our channel Cloud Server. So in this episode, we're going to learn how to deploy a dynamic website uh, by the use of PHP, STML, Apache, and MySQL with the concept of containerization and the YAML files and finally the main Docker Compose. So in this laboratory, we have a pre-configured code for the MySQL, PHP, HTML, Docker file and Docker Compose YAML file. So let me show you the steps and the walkthrough about how to compile this project in a well-managed uh, folder uh, director locations and the folder tree. So for that, uh, I'll be uh, going through a mm, quick image file where I can show you how the folder structure is designed for this project. So we have uh, this uh, folder located as user, local and dynamic test. And under this root folder, we have Docker file and we have Docker compose.yaml. We have a dump folder where we have uh, the mydv.sql file. We have www folder where we have index.php. By looking at this folder structure, we are going to create everything and compile everything that we have. So here I have my resources for all the codes. And let me show you what are the steps to do and build this project. So I'll just be uh, getting an echo of cat steps.txt. So we have uh, we first uh, create the folder tree as specified in the image file. We open the text editor uh, for the files Docker Composer, YAML, Docker file, index.psb, my db.sql, and copy all the script files. And once we have everything wrapped up and planned, we run the command sudo docker compose config to check whether we have any issues or errors uh, while compiling the YAML file and the scripts. And after successfully checking the configuration, we run a sudo docker compose up in the detached mode to initiate, uh, to initiate the process to create multiple containers from the initial image specified in the docker file and link up everything in the way specified in the YAML files. Finally, after creating of the containers and running uh, process completion in order to check whether the containers are successfully hosted, we run uh, sudo docker psa to list down all the containers that is hosted um, in our uh, local machine. So once we have everything and once we check whether our uh, containers are running updatedly. Uh, we then specify uh, the local host and the port uh, number to display the output. Now we move further uh, in creation of the folder structure that is defined in the image. For that, I'd like to go inside CD uh, user and local, and I'll be creating a direct directory called uh, dynamic test and i'll be going inside that so uh, i'm inside dynamic test and we will still still be needing two additional folders uh one called dump and another called www so i'll be creating a directory um dump and Again, www. So we have the um, Docker Compose YAML file in the root dynamic test and the Docker file in dynamic test. We have the SQL file in the dump and we have the PSP file in the www folder. So what I'll be doing, I'll be creating Docker Compose dot YAML file first and I'll be copying what I have here. 
So, so we start with the version as I've already told you, and the services and the volumes and network if we need it. So let's copy it and we paste it in our terminal. So doc compose dot yaml. So we have it all sorted out. We will save. Worry not, we will provide uh, the resources on our YouTube channel. So now we, I will be creating the Docker file. File and I will be again copying what I have here. So, so this I will be copying it and I will be listing here. Okay, I think that has not copied quite good. So, selecting everything, copying it. And then going to the CLI where I have Dockerfile opened. I have now copied it. So this creating of Dockerfile. So I now move on to the dump folder. And now I will be creating my db.sql file here. And then I'll be copying the codes of my DB SQL. So here it is. I'll be selecting everything. I'll be copying it. Pasting on to my CLI where I have the my db.sql opened. So here it is. I'll be saving it. So now I move on to www folder. Now I will be creating here index.php uh, so I'll be copying the code from the index.php here so starting with here and then I'll be copying it and then I'll be pasting up here I'll be saving it so now we move on to the root uh, dynamic test uh, folder so now we can check whether we have everything figured out or not by using Docker Compose. Docker Compose and Config. So, and it says I, I don't have any uh, errors. So I will be running the YAML file by using Docker Compose and followed by hyphen up. Sorry, Docker Compose up followed by a hyphen D with a detached mode. And creating network and re volume. So the process has been started. So here we go. We, we have a download process triggered. We have to wait. Yes, uh, I didn't have any images uh, stored in my local library, so it's downloading all the images. So it's going to take some time. Bear with me. That's what that was a long wait. So we have now everything built up and ready. Thank you for viewing our Docker series on our YouTube channel Cloud Sarah. And this was our last episode. I hope you all had some understanding and a level up in your skills and Docker. So if you liked our videos, please uh, like, share, and subscribe on our channel Cloud Sarah. Thank you, everybody. This is me, Diablo, signing out from Cloud Server on Docker Series.